Okay, uh, today I'm going to investigate the antimicrobial properties of mint and uh, garlic. So, first thing, we have to um, crush the mint leaves. Okay, we can fast forward this one. Um, <laughs> okay, now we have to add one pipette of ethanol to the crushed mint leaves. Then we have to mix it again. Um, in here we have uh, we have a sterile petri dish with agar medium mixed with uh, some E. coli bacteria. The dish has to uh, be incubated at 25 degrees um, because this this is the ideal. A temperature for bacteria growth so now uh, we're going to use some paper discs okay now uh, we're going to take one paper disc we're gonna dip it, uh, dip it into the uh, extract. Now we have to leave it to dry, so we can make sure that only mint has the effect. Yes, please. So now we place this is agar medium. We place the paper disc uh, here. Um, now we're gonna do a control so we can, you know, compare uh, the effect of mint and garlic. So we're gonna take a paper disc. And dip it into alcohol. And we're going to place it. Sorry. We're going to place it here. So now we have to seal the petri dish with tape. However, yeah. it should be sealed in a way to allow gases in and out because by doing this we would uh, prevent anaerobic conditions uh, which could lead to uh, growth of harmful bacteria. Yeah. Pause, pause, pause.